Good afternoon, folks. We're going to run down the top story in yesterday morning's show, the first ever detection of a new kind of solar storm effect. Of course, it happened last month during the solar superstorm, the first KP9 level 5 solar storm in 20 years. Several X-class flare-driven CMEs impacted Earth and caused the event. We have, of course, been discussing it at length since it happened and how many records it broke. So here's the new paper. The equatorial electrojet and ionization anomaly merged with the southern auroral oval due to both being so juiced up from the solar impact. This caused a complete depletion of the ionosphere in mid-latitudes of the southern hemisphere. It was the first merger of the two since the 1989 solar storm and the first ever ionospheric depletion event at mid-latitudes. It is possible it happened in the 1859 or 1921 storms and we just wouldn't know it. And again, those were 20, 50 to 200 times stronger of a blast from the sun. The merger event took place at the South Atlantic Anomaly, not surprising, the weak point in Earth's magnetic field, and it spread from there. So folks, what is critical about this is the same thing that we noted with the auroral outbreak from the storm. The May 2024 auroral outbreak matched or exceeded all known superstorms on record. But what the sun threw at us to cause that storm was puny by comparison. And the reason the earth effects reach such levels is the weakening of our magnetic field and the ongoing pole shift. The same type of analysis can be done for the ionization merger and ionospheric depletion. We have taken far greater impacts from the sun in just the last 20 or 30 years haven't seen anything close to that level of earth disruption. And it's all pointing to the increased vulnerability of our planet. The more information that comes in, the worse it seems like our situation has become. Subscribe and I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.